guys welcome to my channel vinyl beauty or welcome back i'm debbie if you don't know me for today's video we're going to do a palettes of the past if you're not familiar with that it's a series i do on my channel where i look back at older palettes in my collection and we create a look with them and i wanted to do a festive edition so this palette isn't long in the past really but we're going to be using the bh cosmetics naughty palette which came out holiday season 2020 and I really wanted to create a berry look today, hence what I'm wearing. I always try and match whatever my makeup look is to what I'm wearing. So we're going to concentrate on the warm kind of berries and, yeah, a very cosy vibe to this look. So without further ado, I'll scoot you in and we'll get started. Okay, so to start us off, I'm going to prime with the Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot and we're going to do cheeks together as well but i thought we'll put this on and give it a chance to kind of dry down a bit and i think i might set my base a little bit today because i want to do quite a blended look with this palette so we're getting very close to christmas now aren't we two days to go are you guys all ready i'm already i've still got to pack my case for my holiday but everything's like out on the bed and I'm just hoping it's all going to fit in the case that's always the biggest problem for me I like get too much stuff out and overpack but I've put a third of it away and I don't actually have an outfit for every day because I think that's the secret of packing that you need to kind of mix and match things and take some basics so that's what I've done this time to kind of reduce the amount that I'm taking we've got a decent amount of luggage allowance but You've only got to wash it all when you bring it back so <laughs> my husband moans at me for taking so much so i've pared it right down so i'm pleased with myself for blush today we're going to go in with a pat mcgrath blush it's paradise venus and it's a warm and toasty sort of color so i think it'll go well with the look i'm planning it is pretty pigmented though so i'm gonna go with a light hand and build it up to try and get the the look that i want I want it right on the apples of my cheeks, like nice and glowy. But yeah, I think that's going to work really well for the shades that I'm planning to do. I want a really warm sort of berry look today. Because you can sort of make berries quite cool and cranberry, but I want all the warm tones today. I'm on my own today, but my husband finishes work today. And I'm still really lonely without the cats. I miss them so much. So Jane, I know you said I should put a picture for Benji. So here he is. Oh, he's just so adorable, so pretty, and just such a character. And I don't know, the house just doesn't seem the same without him. I've never put him in the cuttery so early, but the cuttery closed yesterday. That's the last day they would take admissions. Obviously, we don't go away now until Monday, but yeah, it's sad without him. I miss him so much. All right, lovely and blushy now. I'm going to do a bit of a blush on the nose moment today. For highlight, we're going with Golden Nectar by Pat McGrath. So we stick with the Pat McGrath today. And I thought the gold vibe could look nice with this because I'm planning to do gold with the very high look. So this is a little bit too dark for me, but kind of layered over that blush as a blush topper. I think it's working okay. Right, so before we start applying eyeshadow, I'm going to do a bit of a smudgy lower lash line with this one. So I'm going to go with Nabla's Cupid Arrow Stylo number three. Really need to buy some more of these next year. They're so good. I just discovered there's a sharpener in the bottom of the, the pencil, which I hadn't realised was there. So you can get it up precise again, because I'd stop using it because I hadn't worked out how I could get it sharp again. But they're so good they stay really well you can use them as lipsticks or you can use them as eyeliner but while it's still smudgy you're just going to smudge it out on that lower lash line i do these in a range of colors i think they've got a navy one so i'd love to get that one just to get that really intense blue on the lower lash line i love a deep dark navy blue and I think the black would be really useful as well. But you see how much they'll smudge out for days. And that's what I wanted for this look. I want it to be quite smudgy and smoky. So to start with the eyeshadow, then we're going to go with Nutcracker, which is the deepest of like the more burgundy berry tones in the palette. And I'm going to press that on in the outer corner. Just 
really tried to get quite a bit of intensity in this look. We're going for a rounded shape today. That's got some good pigment, hasn't it? I love this palette. It's not my perfect Christmas palette because the the green in it is like a balsam green, that's the name of it, like a pine green. It's not as maybe vibrant as I might want in a Christmas look always, but it is a nice shade, but there's so many options in here. It's probably the best palette that BH ever brought out, I think. I know a lot of you use it all year round. I got it at the beginning of 2021. I'd missed out on it when it came out. It did come to Beauty Bay. I didn't buy it because I was trying to be good. But I just kept thinking about it. It wasn't expensive when it came out even. But then on the BH website they had it for, I think it was $11. And I was like, no, I've got to get it now. And I'm really glad I did. I've used it a few times actually. But wow, that is pigmented, isn't it? I thought I might have to deepen up with the black. There is a black in this palette, but I don't think I'm going to need to do that. Alright, I'm just going to soften the edges of that. Just a tad before we go in with the next shade. Just with what's on the brush now, I'm just taking that onto the lower lash line as well. Just to set under that pencil that we put down there. So the plan is to use Brick next, which is this one, and then Santa Baby more towards the inner part of my lids. I'm just going to continue on across my crease with Brick, but a little bit more diffuse now as we go towards the, the inner part of my crease. I only want to go about two thirds of the way across because I want to bring in another shade towards the front part of my crease. And I'm going above my natural crease that so we've got plenty of room for shimmers today so i'm keeping my eye open as i bring this shade across and then the last shade i'm going to use as we come down here is the shade santa baby i'm going to bring that right down now towards my nose but leaving kind of my eye open just slightly at the front just again as i say to give us that space for shimmers to go there so nothing crazy, nothing complicated today, just wanted a, a pretty berry look with a little bit of drama and intensity to it. So with that same brush I'm going to go in with the shade Frosting. I'm just going to use Frosting just as a bit of a blending shade, just to further diffuse everything out. Just going to go in with a bit more of that brick shade just so that we don't lose that intensity in the outer corner. My lids I'm taking NYX Glitter Primer but I don't want to make it a cut crease, I want to kind of blend the shimmers up into the crease so just tapping that on. Not using perhaps as much of it as I usually do just to, as I say, give us something to make the shades pop. I wanted to do this look today because I think it's the kind of look I'm going to wear for Christmas Day. I don't normally rehearse a look, but we won't have that much time because I know hubby will be rushing me. So if I've done the look before, it's always easier to, to do it. I haven't got to think it through, if that makes sense. Okay, we're going to go in with Spike Cider over the majority of the lid here. And we're going to do it on an angle sort of shape. And this is such a stunning shade. It's so pretty. As I said, I'm going to bring it on a bit of an angle. So that there's more of it at the top and less as we come down. There's a shade like this in the Too Faced. Is it the Gingerbread Spice? Yeah, the Gingerbread Spice from about four or five years ago. Always love that shade as well. I love these sort of iridescent-y, pinky kind of shades like this. Pinky, fairy. I don't know how to explain it. I'm terrible at explaining colours. But... So, so beautiful. I'm going to take a tiny bit of the shade Rum, which is a satin shade, just to help us blend that spike cider into where we've got the mattes there. Just the tiniest little bit of that, I just think it will help the transition from one to the other. And then for the last shimmer, we're going to use the shade Spicy, this gold here. And that's going to go in the front part here. 
so say kind of on an angle in the space that we've left there. I think that's quite a flattering placement. I'm going to bring it slightly above that spice cider shade as well, right up into the crease here. And also wrap it around the tear duct area and onto the lower lash line if I can with this brush. I might have to swap brushes. No, I think that's fine. I'm just going to spend a little bit of time just diffusing that shimmer up into the crease. The brush that I'm using for this is the Moon Dust brush from Urban Decay. It's a great little brush for this kind of thing because it's fluffy enough, it picks up product really well but you can sort of turn it on the tip of it to help you to blend out as well. I've got a few of these pro brushes from Urban Decay. The ones that come in their palettes aren't that great but these pro ones with the grey handles are fab. Okay, that's the look to this point. Just going to hop off camera just for a trace of liner. I'm not going to do a wing, but just like trace a bit of liner on my upper lids, mascara and a lip. And I'll be back with you with the finished look. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. Really love how it's turned out. It's got that warm and toasty vibes whilst also being berry toned. I think these are the sort of colours that really suit me as well. So I feel myself in this look. I really do. I think it looks so pretty. For lips today, I've gone in with a Colourpop Sapphire Nygaard lipstick, so it's a Halloween lipstick, but it's called Bury Me in Lipsticks, which is, yeah, such a cool name, isn't it? But I've never used this one. I've always gone for, like, the more weirder lipsticks in that collection, and this one's quite normal. But it's the perfect berry tone without being too deep and scary kind of thing. So it's very approachable with this look. And I think I'll definitely wear this look when we go out for Christmas dinner. We're just going out to a, a pub restaurant, uh, just our local beef eater actually. But we're, we're going to be doing that. And I think this isn't too much like my mum won't go, oh my God, what have you got on your eyes? You know, it's still quite pretty, I think. So hopefully it will do and I'll know how to do it quickly and be able to recreate it and not keep her be waiting too long so I'm hoping to film tomorrow I'm going to be filming with the Muppets holidays 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 palette probably going to do a Miss Piggy inspired look with that one I really fancy doing something kind of pale pink so might do that tomorrow if I don't get a chance to do it though we've got a lot on tomorrow we're going to go shopping for the holiday my husband wants some new clothes so we're going to go out and do that first thing we've got to come back and pack we've got dinner plan for three o'clock at ZZ because my husband got a gift voucher from work so we want to spend that and then we're going to see the Muppets Christmas Carol at 5.30. So if somewhere in between all of that, I can squeeze in just a quick look with the Muppets palette. I really want to do it because I want to play with that before Christmas and just catch up with you guys one last time before Christmas. So hopefully I can make that happen. But if I don't, and, and this is my last one before Christmas, then Merry Christmas, guys. I hope you have a fabulous time, whatever you're doing, and you get to rest up and spend some quality time with your families and I'll see you all in the new year for sure and um, we'll do a bit of a rundown of the things I've bought in 2022 because yeah there's been a lot more than I intended but I've got some really cool things so it's nice to always look back on those things and kind of make some plans for whatever I want my channel to go in 2023 so I'll definitely be catching up with you in the new year after my holiday so that's all I've got for you for this one anyway. I hope you're keeping safe and well. Have a lovely day or night wherever you are and hopefully catch you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.